In this video we are going to be looking over this Canon EOS Rebel TI 35mm film camera that comes with the manual and also the uh, EF 28 to 90 millimeter uh, F4 to 5.62 lens, all in silver finish. And in order to test this out, I uh, I have a scrap roll of film and some batteries. None of this comes with it, but these are just here for our test purposes. And my goal in this video is to demonstrate the function of this camera as if you were looking it over in your own hands. And so let's get started by first loading the batteries. On the bottom is a battery door and we just pull the little catch and flip the door open and then we load these in with the positive side facing up. These are little CR2 batteries by the way. That snaps shut. And then we can go around the back here and open up the back. And while we have the back open, let's just take a quick look here while we're at it. It's a nice uh, nice design where there's this channel here, and there isn't a lot of foam light seal material. I see maybe a few places where there is some, and there's some over here by the little window so that you can look through the back and see that there's film in the camera. But this foam feels good, and I would assume that any other does. And most of it is just designed where everything fits nicely enough so it's, it doesn't require foam light seals. So while there's a little bit, most of the area doesn't have it, and I don't see any problems with any of the foam. So let's load our roll of film. We just put that over here on this side, pull the leader over into this area over here, and then close the, uh, the door. And now, if I were to, I'll just turn it on here. Okay, and this is a short little roll of film, so it's got only six exposures. And so, um, it's a very quiet winding camera, I've noticed. That's very nice. Um, I did see here that in program mode, you get to see what it picks for shutter speed and aperture. If you put it on time, uh, time value or uh, shutter priority, as most would call it. Uh, you can set the shutter speed here with with this little knob here and then the camera does its best to pick an aperture and, you, and you'll know if it's within range if it uh, as long as it stays there. And if it flashes it's uh, uh, an aperture you know you can't get what it considers the right exposure. But as long as it gives you a solid value, it's good. Um, in aperture priority, it's similar except this wheel now controls your aperture. And in manual, you get uh, shutter speed here and aperture here and it normally controls the shutter speed over here unless you push this button right here and then the aperture value changes with the same wheel. So you can still control both. And I know that's also very similar to how it works on several of the uh, Canon Rebel DSLR models. And I should just say that this camera is actually quite easy to use if you're familiar with working with one of the Canon digital Rebels. So if you'd like the chance to try some full frame or 35 millimeter film uh, photography, this is a very nice little camera that is very lightweight and you can just put it in your camera bag. All the lenses that are the EF type will fit. The EFS type that you may have with your digital Rebel uh, those will not work, so be careful. It'll only use the EF lenses. Uh, I should also point out here now the uh, the shutter or the uh, viewfinder surround here. There's supposed to be some rubber coating on here, and that's missing. You can just take this whole piece off and replace it. Um, I don't think that that makes a whole lot of difference anyway. But uh, if you like that rubber, you can just get another one of those. 
So let's put this through some some uh, paces here. First of all, just point it out here and have it have it. Okay, we saw the lens moves to focus. I hear a beep, and the shutter goes off. Okay. Now let's uh, open up the flash here. We push this little button right there and point this off this way and it should flash and it certainly did so flip the flash back down and then let's uh, activate the self timer and try that now if I push the timer button down there's a the little timer indicator right there so now I can just put this over here and point this at us push the shutter button it focused and beeped and push it the rest of the way down. We can see the light flashing right here and it will complete the cycle. Okay. There's not a whole lot more to demonstrate so I'm going to set it at the multi uh, burst here so we can just uh, push this until that shows up which is right there. There's only three shots left and I'm going to just let it fire those off and you'll see that that works as well. I'll just hold the button down and then that was the final winding of the film. So now all the film is back wound into the housing over here. So if this were a real roll of film we could just take this and process it and uh, get our pictures. So it, everything about the camera that I tried seemed to work just fine. I, I'm going to shut it off here and unload those batteries since those are not part of the deal here, but um, looks like a pretty nice example of this camera. It has a, a lens cap which is a uh, unbranded 58 millimeter lens cap. Here it is. I don't have the original Canon one, but this one fits just right. The manual is here. It's got a little bit of wear, a little bit of staining, but it's in pretty good shape. It's the English language, so it is uh, just what you'll need to know to operate this, this camera. And it has the Canon EOS strap. I should have also pulled off the lens here and we can see everything looks good in the mirror box and I verified that that works. I also did look through this lens toward a bright light and I didn't see any fog, haze, fungus or anything wrong in there. The zoom works well and on, uh, and this is the range of motion for focus. Of course if it's in autofocus then you feel the gears engage. So I'm just going to put that back. We'll put it on autofocus, mount it back on the camera and put the lens cap on.